Attention all personnel. Attention all personnel. Personnel on beta ship. A reminder that you should be at your post on standby status one hour prior to Captain, the Captain, sir. Ship. We are now 300 kilometers from the site of the explosion. Uh, set full speed and hurry. These are the same conditions I faced 30 years ago. The awesome power that nearly ended my life, nearly obliterated the Empire. How could it have survived? How could it be revived? It couldn't be. Radar shows a large mass is headed towards us at high velocity. What is it? Unknown, sir. But it should be in visual range any minute. Why is it here? Strange gun. This has to be a tool of the old world. Incredible! This doesn't even compare to the Empire's weapons! This means the man that flew with you before. He was a warrior, wasn't he? My only hope is that your alliances don't really lie with the Black Dragon. Looks like the Empire's fleet. What are they doing all the way out here? Hey! Oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! Warning you, Dragon, stop! Stop your attack now or I pull the trigger! Hey, Kyle, ain't you supposed to help Blau by defeating Empire? So I don't know why <laughs> you decide to tell the Dragon to stop shooting yet again. There are human beings on the ship. After all, the Imperials are human too. Well, anyway, welcome back. Welcome back, friends, to the Panzer Dragoon 1 Let's Play. This is a Zell 98. And in the last part, um, I was explaining, I was explaining about the lore of Panzer Dragoon and how the development was, um, how the development came to be. And I still got a lot of things to say. Well, okay, so in the near the end of part one, I was explaining about the Panzer Dragoon timeline. Because this timeline can be a, a bit confusing. Um, I'll put a link in the description of, of this fan site called Panzer Dragoon Legacy. Where let's say it's a lot of uh, dedication to the Panzer Dragoon universe. There's artwork, there's fan art and artwork of the games. Half of it is 13 and up. Age, age. Some of, some of the artwork can be inappropriate. Some of it it cannot be inappropriate. There's plenty of trivia, lore. But yeah, when I when you go on the site, it says that Panzer Dragoon One is like. The second of the time frame, even though the second game is really the first of the timeline, it's like the Odd World. It's, it's sort of like the not so much Zelda. It's sort of like the Odd World Point trilogy, even though um, 
even though um, Muncher's Odyssey is like the third installment, it's really the second. Um, it's it's really the the second. Okay, it's really the second installment of the series because because uh, Odd Worlds, um, because the original Odd World and Apes Exited is meant to be one freaking chapter like Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So I don't know where this falls in line with Panzer Dragoon because Panzer Dragoon 2 is basically a prequel. It explains how, you know, the dragons were made and how and how the how the Emperor came to be on deciding to um have his Imperial forces go to the tower and how they end up destroying towns all because of all because he wanted to do a little bit of interrogation and uh, decimating other people's lives to survive off the future so it's sort of like in, in Nausicaa where let's say Is Isbel is not, not to be confused with Isabel from Animal Crossing Isbel from let's say Nausicaa, his race of people, the Pegites, and the wanted to decimate the people from the Valley of the Land because let's face it, if if they don't get these um omen bug creatures out of their out of their village, they end up dying. It's the same thing with um Lundy's village. The Imperials shoot his village, so he goes out to revenge to make sure whoever survived um, doesn't cause harm. But it's really confusing because near the end of Panzer Dragoon 2, you get to see like a little trailer of Panzer Dragoon 3. You get to see, you know, how Edge and the Dragon, you get to see a little clip about how Edge and the Dragon Man and how the dragon uses his um telepathy powers on telling Edge that to, to go stop Kraman and and the evil emperor from entering the tower that he's the one to stop this whole madness in the war and and to control his vendetta against Kraman. Not only that, we get to see like a little clip of Azel on her dragon. Not only that, the Imperial forces destroying the town of Zoa like a big explosion. It wasn't a lot, which I gotta say was very impressive in 1996 to show us a sneak preview of what the next game will, will, will be. But it questions me on if the first game was really the second. It questions me on if the first game is really the second place of the time frame because um, in Panzer Dragoon Saga there are a lot of story elements that that uh, borrows a lot from Panzer Dragoon 2. Hell, you even get to fight the Guardian Dragon, you get to have a diary of Lundy's um, past and how he became a seek from Hunter to Seeker. And not only that, um, if you manage to have a save feature with Pants Dragon 2, one of the children of the village of Zoa ends up giving you a music box and it ends up and, and, it, and it ends up having a little tune from Pants Dragon 2. And I can't say Orda is the last game of the series because I mean last well in terms of time frame, I know it's the last game of the series, last installment, but in terms of the timeline, the last game that takes place in the timeline because um Orda has a lot well not a lot, but it has uh, some details that was present from Saga. Like, let's say, you go back to the Cicerin, and you get to fight um, a hologram of, well, it depends on which pathway you take, of the Shellcock. Not only that, there's Azel's little message saying that she's her mother. 
So to me, I think Panzer Dragoon 1 is like the last game that takes place in the time frame. I know, right? And it's like the first game of the series. Maybe, maybe it's the fact that, you know, the R3 are interconnected while this first game is not so much interconnected but it does you know set you up on what the universe is gonna be like however yeah the, yeah um this game isn't too accurate of let's say it's it's timeline mr. Fusagi can you please, um, because Yukio Fusagi actually has a Twitter account, I'll put a link in the description. Mr. Yukio Fusagi, can you please, um, very, very tie on what the, um, very tie on what this time, what the timeline is supposed to be in these games. Well, anyway, um, other inspirations for Panzer, um, Dragoon, that to borrow from Dragonheart, is that the character Akuru, Akuru or Ikuru, I can't pronounce it, I'll show up a picture, um, she was, and they took the inspiration from her and she was inspired to create the character Alita from the OVA, because let's face it, she's a blonde girl that has tan skin, that her smile is similar to Alita's. Not only that, she has a uh, bluish purple, bluish violet eyes. And a nerd tidbit of inspiration: Akiru's jacket is actually the same jacket that the Imperials were wear, or at least they got some inspiration. Because if you notice. If you notice that jacket, it's it's the, it, that jacket is similar design on what Azel is wearing in Panzer Dragon Saga. So yeah, this game has a lot to do with um, Nausicaa and Dragon Heaven. You should go watch those. It's on WatchCartoons.com. Well, Dragon's Heaven is Japanese, but there is a dub of Nausicaa. Sadly, though, um, it's not the original 1985 dub, it's, it's, it's the re-release 2005 dub. Oh, but don't get your pants straight. Even though it is from Disney, it's actually good voice acting. And I noticed that all the voice actors are from, are from Animaniacs. Because voice talents like, you know, Tress McNeil, Frank Walker, and Jim Cummins are actually in there. Even Shia LaBeouf as Isbell. Yeah, I know. Way before he sucked in the um, Transformers movies. But if you see those movies, you can pretty much see the, like, influence. Yeah, Panzer Dragoon takes a lot of, um... When it comes to the post-apocalyptic setting, it's... It has to do more of the Japanese post-apocalyptic setting. Because most of the Japanese post-apocalyptic setting in this game... Yeah, most of the Japanese populace in setting, when it comes to their houses, they're like tall clay adobe mud houses that you see in Mexico. And you see these ancient, um, hard clay walls. Well, anyway, I forgot to talk about the gameplay. And we're almost done with this stage. Yeah, this boss right here, the, ge the General Grievous. Yeah, I know the boss's name is not really Grievous. I'm not going to pause the video. Um, I'll put a link in the description what, what, the boss's, what the boss's name really is. But this Grievous um, knockoff, basically what you got to do is shoot, shoot in his arms. And at this point, this is like the hardest boss in the game. Because, um, you could lock onto him, but he'll just reflect the laser. However, though, I think it will be a good thing that you do lock onto him. Because while he's reflecting the laser, 
he's vulnerable, which means you could go ha you could go um ham with uh, his arms like rapidly shooting like right like right there by rapidly shooting um Kyle's gun and that's how you defeat it. However, the second form is is a tad bit annoying because he has this annoying homing laser and um there's no way you could you could avoid it. You just gotta take the hits. And this is the reason why I decided to do um this game in invincibility mode. Because believe it or not, this game is hard as shit. And there is no save feature. And you can't get continues, but just like Star Fox and, and the early Sonic games, you gotta earn those continues. Believe it or not, Panzer Dragoon actually has a ranking system. All the Panzer Dragoons actually have a ranking system. But in the first game, it's like if you kill the boss, basically if you kill the boss fast enough, kill him out of enemy, a lot of enemies, you can't not miss one enemy basically earn a couple of continues however though if you don't manage to get um a rate a ranking like let's say a b rank which is basically 80 percent if you don't get 80 percent on your ranking you don't get a continue so yeah if you get 60 percent you basically um get no continues if you get above 80 which is a b rank you get one continue if you get 96 and a rank you get two if you get a 120 percent ranking which is an a rank which is an s rank you basically get five continues so yeah well anyway join me next time in the next part where i explain about the gameplay Finally, I know, right? Yet again, this is a very, very, very short game. So yeah, this is L98 signing out.